Hi, this is Rochelle with Scrap Craft Tastic, and I'm here today to do a special Dollar Tree Wednesdays haul featuring supplies from the Crafters Square line that they have now. It has started popping up at more and more Dollar Trees, and I've been able to find some things as I was out looking for my necessities. Um, I'd been going to Dollar Tree looking for alcohol and rubber gloves, and I did find both of those. But while I was there, of course, I had to check and see what they had on the stationery aisle. And now they actually have a craft section at more of the stores. I'm going to start with a few items that are not part of the Crafter Square supply, craft supplies, but they are craft supplies nonetheless for me. So I saw these and I was like, well, maybe they're not very good for the purpose that I wanted them for, but I picked them up anyway. That is these flag napkins and I guess all these are out for Memorial Day so I picked up the three designs that I saw so I make handmade journals and junk journals and I do sometimes use napkins for decoupage and I'm trying to build my stash and my collection these aren't the typical type of napkins that you would see but I thought it would be nice to have them in my collection and for a dollar each um, there's no way I would actually use all of the napkins. What there's 20 in this one, 18 in this one, 18 in this one. There's no way I would use all that. So eventually I'll probably do some type of napkin swap or either just do like some kits of a variety of napkins as I build my stash. So I picked those up. In the same section, I also picked up these waxed basket liners and I was curious about them. I don't know how I can use them but I think I can incorporate them into my journals and they're not really specific to a holiday or anything so oh they're pretty big so let's see so it's kind of like a tissue paper which I thought it would be but it's it's a little more sturdy and it is waxed so I'm going to figure out some kind of way that I can use these for my junk journaling. Uh, let's see if I can slip this back in here. And that is 15 sheets. Then I finally found the die cuts that other people have been finding. I found the butterfly. And I picked up two packs of the blue. I found the orange butterfly. I picked up two packs. And there's 33, I think 32 in that one, 33 in this one, and 33 in this one, which is the pink. I picked up two packs of those. So there's a variety of different sizes of die cuts in here. Uh, and you can use them for your paper crafting projects. These were not in the craft section or the stationery section. They're actually in the gardening section. Um, and you can see it says floral garden. So I don't know how they would be used in a garden but yeah and you get all different sizes sh uh, shades of pink so you get the light pink you get a nice variety so kind of gives you a glimpse at what you get and that was a dollar and you know how in Dollar Tree sometimes things are just random in an area and you don't see any others like it well, usually I don't like to buy the last thing, but I found this. It says DIY stickers. I don't know what that's supposed to mean, but they are wood chips or I don't know what you call it, but it's the wood. Um, this one fell, but they have just a little pop dot on the back of them, but they're flip flops and I couldn't resist because it's like a Florida thing. So... <laughs> I, I don't really have a purpose for them other than I was thinking I could put another hole in like the heel area and use them for charms. I'm not sure what I would do with the palm trees, but I just thought it was too cute to pass up. Then on to the Crafter Square items. So I found these butterflies and you get four um, for a dollar. So that's 25 cents each. I only got one. I controlled myself. Uh, because I don't really have a purpose for these yet and they are big so they're doubled up so I could actually use 
the bottom layer this top layer is like a plasticky feeling it does have glitter on it and I'm sure yeah you can take these apart so it's like a, a poly plastic on top and then the bottom is cardstock and it's like a finished cardstock so you get two layers to work with that's not bad so I picked those up let's see if I can find some room here this isn't crafters square but they have it in the crafters square area and that is the chalk riders so I picked up every color that they had I've got the silver the purple the gold and the white and I think I already have the white and I just want to play around with these I'm thinking of making myself a book with just black paper just as like a little journal and these I could use I have plenty of pens and markers that write on dark colored papers but I wanted to try these out so I picked them up and then this is something I used to use back in my school of the art days we called it a rubber cement eraser they call it a glue and residue eraser if you use three in one or Fabri-Tac this is good to remove uh, any seepage of glue you might have when you're working on your projects it just pulls it right up off of the paper so picked up one of those I picked up another bottle of the Jot school glue I use this to make my own uh, decoupage and I used it once before recently and it worked perfectly so I picked up one bottle for any future large decoupaging projects I might have usually I don't see this and I decided to give it a shot um, because they did have the white crafters square acrylic paint I usually see a whole bunch of other colors that I'm not interested in but you can always use white paint so I said I would give it a try and I picked up a tube again it's crafters square I saw this at another Dollar Tree and I was like oh I should have picked that up but I didn't but I saw it again when I made another trip and here is their Scraptility knife set. It's like an X-Acto knife. Um, I'm not sure how good it is. And the only thing problem I have with this is the blades. I don't know if it uses the same blades as an X-Acto knife. But I did not see any replacement blades in uh, Dollar Tree. So I don't know if all the blades are the same or how that works. So I'm going to test that out then I also found some stickers that are not my style but I picked them up to share with you so there's two sticker books that I had not seen before it's 292 stickers um, this is a cat a panda and a unicorn kind of like a space theme these are the slick stickers like um they're not glossy glossy but they are satiny finish i guess so yeah this is what they look like again not my style and it's kind of weird that they go from that style to something that looks kind of like some old happy planner stickers um very much like some old happy planner stickers then this is different this is for budgeting, I think. I don't know. Well, no, I just saw the dollar sign. It's just for a whole bunch of different things. My weekly planner, big day to do list this month. Okay. I like the colors. And then this. So this book is all over the place, but I mean, it's a dollar. So. Let's see. And this is from a previous um, sticker book that they had at a Dollar Tree. So it's just like a Mod Podge of pages and stickers. Okay. Or a mixture. And then here's the other one. I'm not crazy about the llamas and the cacti, but I know a lot of people are into that. I never did understand what drama had to do with a llama, but okay. Um, 
They're cute though. I think I like this one, this sheet better than this one. So, and then, oh, this is nice. This is more cohesive so far as far as the design of the stickers. Yeah. This one has 278 stickers. Okay, here we go with something that's a little different. This looks like stuff for students. Test, exam, project, deadline. And here's that page from a previous Dollar Tree sticker book. And another same page from that book. Weird pages. And I think that's it. So this is what's in this one. I've picked these up before. I pick I think I picked up one pack of it of them. So I picked up two sets of the paint brushes. Um, the bigger brush I think is good for spreading glue because those brushes don't tend to last long so I have these two and they have two different smaller brushes in them as well so crafters square brand two brushes for a dollar that's really good brushes are expensive I doubt that they are the best quality but they're good for spreading glue then I picked up these mini glass containers I'm working on a mermaid journal you can check it out over on my other channel journal life's journey um, where I make junk journals and I was thinking that I could use this for the tassel charm that I plan to make for that journal so and they have other jars decorative jars like this for crafting um, some bigger ones different shapes I think these were the smallest ones that they had but I thought that was a good deal six for a dollar then recently, I actually cut some of my own stencils using some poly folders that I got from Walmart during back to school. And I'm kind of gearing up to start working more in my art journal, which I will be doing over on my other channel, Journal Life's Journey. But I found some stencils in Dollar Tree and I got every one of the ones that I saw except for one, which it was a poop emoji and I just couldn't bring myself to get that. There's no way I would be using that. So, I got everything else that I could find. I got one of each. And these are stencil wheels. Now, I would probably just take this top layer off. <laughs> um, these are sliding all over the place because it's unnecessary. <laughs> um, I don't need, I don't think I need the masking of this I don't know I may leave it for some and take it off for others but hopefully you can see this it has the alphabet stencil style alphabet so I picked up that one then this one is like a sea themed summer so it has I guess I could spin the wheel and show you a black piece of paper so you can see a little better so you have a lighthouse a flotation device you have here where it says summer I guess it's supposed to go this way summer you have a sailboat an anchor with a couple of fish the wheel and then back to the lighthouse okay The next one is a floral, and I wish it would say on the stencil what it is, but it does not. So we have flowers, like roses. I don't know the different types of flowers other than roses. That looks like it could be a sunflower, daisies maybe, tulips, I don't know. <laughs> And then back to the roses. So again, I don't think I would need the masking. I'll probably take that top piece off. This one is birthday. So we got some birthday hats, a cake, a gift, 
or gifts. We have happy birthday and stencil style letters. Balloons. And candles. And I think that's it. Yeah. So, and then I have this one, which is numbers spelled out. So, let's go. Eight, nine, and you have the dollar sign, the and symbol, the percent, the plus, minus, um, division, and equal, zero, one, two, three, four, all the way to nine. Okay. This one is for weddings. So it has the wedding rings and the word wedding. It has a dress, which is really cute. It says Mr. and Mrs. I hope you all can see these. Then I think this is supposed to be like a bouquet. Then I don't get this, but it has the hat, mustache, and tie. I guess that's for the groom. Um, you got some champagne glasses and hearts. And, oh, going the wrong way. And then back to wedding. Okay. Then this one looks just like be happy summer stuff. <laughs> okay. Um, or travel, maybe. I think it's travel. That's an airplane with the earth in the background I think this is a hot air balloon let me look at that one again yeah I think that's what that is hot air balloon that was the reason why I wanted this one I like the hot air balloon got a scooter in the sun this is some whales I think <laughs> in a boat Some of these, uh, yeah, some trees and a vehicle, probably for camping. And this is a bus, says be happy. And back to the airplane, okay. Then this one is sea related, so it's got shells. Got a shell. different types of shells so starfish and I think that's it yeah okay so I really wanted this one for again my mermaid journal I thought I could do some stenciling in it so the seashells are the, is the last of the stencils that I picked up and that is everything I have for this week's Wednesday's haul. I'm also going to do a little giveaway. I actually got two of the butterflies because I'm going to give away one of each color. So I'll be giving away these three die cut sets of butterflies. I'm going to be giving away the sticker books. And I'm also going to be giving away this stencil from the Crafter Square. It is the wedding one. So you get the wedding stencil, the sticker books, and you'll get the three packs of butterfly die cuts. So to enter the giveaway, let me know down in the comments what was your favorite thing from Dollar Tree and if you would shop in Dollar Tree for craft supplies. That's it. All the other rules and information will be in the description box below. I hope you enjoyed this special edition of Dollar Tree Wednesday's haul featuring Crafters Square. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Also, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that little gray bell so that you'll receive notification each time I upload a new video. Be sure to check the community tab and my stories for updates throughout the week. Also, check us out over at patreon.com slash scrapcraftastic for exclusive content and digital downloads. Visit my other channel, Journal Life's Journey, for live craft videos, junk journals, and weekly vlogs. You can find me across social media at scrapcraftastic, also on my website, scrapcraftastic.com. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later. 
拜。